hip hinge. So next is arms. We're gonna do curls today. And I'm gonna be consistent now on doing curls because I want to develop that peak. My bicep arms look big just because they are fat. You know, I store a lot of fat on my arms. But when you get lean, it, you know, it, it shrinks. You know, I don't have a lot of this 16 inch, uh, this 16 inches. But I think when the fat goes off, this just this will all only be 15 inches. You know, <laughs> 15 inch arms. So my neck is around 14.5. That's why I'm doing neck training. So my neck has to catch up with my arms. My calves is around almost the same as my neck so genetics you know <laughs> i need the formula is your calves your arms and your neck should be at the same size your waist should be at 45 percent of your height so for me that's 28 27 to 28 no i'm five foot five 27 28 inches you know 65 inches times 0.45 that's around there 27 28 inches so yeah look at that smooth arms yeah so i'm not really at a low body fat level but people will you know people will notice you're in low body fat if you have the veins you know if you have the separation on the arm but this burns this actually burns. So rarely you will see a natural lifter that can really be shredded and big at the same time. Usually you'll know they're on steroids or they're on something, some some performance enhancers if they are big and they are shredded at the same time all year round. You know, it's either you're big, but you're fat, or you're lean and shredded, you know, if you're natural. Can't be both. You can't be both, okay? Unless you're a genetic freak like Chris Bumstead, you know, like the Olympias, you know, when they're natural. But that's just 1% of the population. <laughs> so dips again. Doing some dips here. I, I, yeah, I did some dips actually. So, I did replicate the last workout, but I did what I need to do. You know, arms, chest. I'm avoiding the, you know, the heavy benching now because the squats is pretty much taxing already.